Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Welcome back to Dash Mode Gaming, where I'm ready this time. Not only was I ready, but I stole the intro from him. Unlike the last one, where you can go back and watch, I wasn't even ready. You, were you ready for this? I, I was not ready for that. Look at this lead. I, w I went from kicking ass to being down by nine. You went from kicking ass to eating ass. Well, I was going to say licking. Oh. Well, same concept. Yep, that's right. So, my story. I pre-ordered Star Wars Battlefront. Okay, you're going to have to remind me now, because I don't really keep up on my up on my Star Wars games. What system was that for? Three? PS4. PS4? Yes. Okay, so it's got to be close to the beginning of the PlayStation 4's life, am I right? Um, I want to say it was uh, three years ago. Okay. Okay. It was it was super hype. Yep. Um, oh, is this the loot crate controversy? That was the second one. Okay. But I mean, it should have been the first one okay. as well. I pre-ordered Star Wars Battlefront. Mm -hmm. The uh, I don't think I got the super jiggy edition. So I my pre-order was maybe I did. Either way, I I also got the season pass. It cost me a hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. I was hype as fuck to play some Star Wars. Can I ask you? Did the season does the season pass because I often see them for sale on the PlayStation Network. Does that get you all the DLC for a year? I'm not positive. Okay. I just know it gets you like all the immediate DLC. Right. Okay. So I pre-ordered that, and everyone took a shit on it because it sucked. The DLC or the game? The game itself had. No single player campaign. Oh. It's entirely online multiplayer. Alright. There's like there there were like a handful of modes. Um Basically I paid $120 for a game. Oh, I have the umbrella. Yeah. Thought I had the spikes. That you hit one of them, the umbrella guy. Oh. I paid $120 for a game that hinges entirely on the fact that people are playing it. Yeah, that's, that's a really bad choice. In, well, I, in, no, not, not on your behalf, on, like, game design. Well, it was a great choice for them because they hyped the fuck out of it and, oh, yeah. like, basically printed money. Yeah. Nowadays... You can get Star Wars Battlefront for generally like twenty bucks, seven dollars. Oh wow! And they made all the DLC free. Oh wow! I am still pissed about that. I can imagine. That's why I I, I don't. I mean, this is just my opinion, so just take it for what it is, okay? But. These microtransactions, these DLCs, this shit needs to end. We need to go back to the days of, like, Smoke, Reptile, Noob Sabot, however you say his name. And we need to start making these, like, secrets that you can unlock by playing the goddamn game. See, I don't mind some DLC. Look at you. Oh, I thought you had it. I did too. I don't mind DLC if it's not all right fucking garbage. I I am not a huge fan of The Witcher Three. Okay. I have the game. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I just don't enjoy that style of gameplay. I guess it it, it I'm not I'm not good at the game, and I'm not gonna get good at the game okay. basically, but. It has a DLC package called Blood and Wine that is basically an entire game on its own. Okay. And if you're going to do and it's like it's like it's like $10. It might be 15, it might be 20. But it is huge. It is everybody says it's a game on its own. Right. Okay. If you're going to do DLC, that is DLC. 2 bucks for a character in a fighting game. 
Suck my nuts. <laughs> um, I still won. You did. Yay yeah. me! Yay! So the second one, the second Star Wars Battlefront, was where the controversy blew up because all the DLC. Push your A button, bud. Do I get to? Oh, I get to dance, and you get to suck my dick. Yay! Look at that. Because the DLC was like would like affect the gameplay. Yeah. Like it would affect your stats. Like pay to win. Yeah. Yep. And that was what people were pissed about. Let's play some Wispy Woods to finish off this episode, shall we? Yeah. All right. Well, now that now that we're hardened veterans. Right. I can't win that die roll for shit. Wow. That's fine. All right. The second one. I know. The second one's just... Well, now they're, like, uh, investigating loot boxes for as, like, gambling. Oh, and yeah? there's, like, European countries that made them illegal. Okay. I, I just... I don't... I don't see where the idea for that was ever a good idea for that. It's a good idea if you want to make more money than you need. See, when they make a video game, yeah, they're trying to please the fans. Mm-hmm. But they're mostly trying to make the investors feel comfortable that they're going to make their money back. Sure. Which is where that came from. Yeah. And that's the problem, is they basically just wanted to invent a money printing machine to... There's an industry term called whale. You want... To hunt the whale. Sure. And whale is someone who is going to continuously spend money on your game. Because they want to create games as a service. Not as a game that you play and then you're done with, but a game that you play and then uh, continue to put your money into. I don't know. It's... I think no, it's fucking I hear you. shady. I hear you. It's shady as fuck. It really is. I don't like it. I uh, I look at gathering the same way. Yeah. You know. Well, I've talked, about, I've talked about it time. You know, time and time again. Yeah. Where I used to play Magic and whatnot, and I sunk so much money into Magic, and you know the returns were just so minimal. Because I'm not interested in going out and playing these big tournaments and stuff like that. Right. Where you can actually win money. So then, what's the point? But I felt like, I felt like I had to go out and buy these cards. Because if I didn't go out and buy these cards or buy these packs, I'm not going to have the cards that I need to win at my FNM. And who am I going to impress at FNM? Every other kid going out to play FNM. Who cares? You know? But... Buy, buying packs of magic cards is essentially gambling, no different than, than well, loot crates. And yeah, stuff it's like the that. same as a loot crate because, like, the Star Wars Battlefront, you weren't buying specific things, you were buying random drops. Right. And maybe you'd be able to use them, but maybe not. You just depended on how much money you put into it and uh, luck. Yeah. It was gambling. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, not a fan. Which is... Granted, I don't play a lot of multiplayer games. But... Ooh, I thought you were going to have that. I thought... No, I was moving too fast. I don't play a lot of multiplayer games, so, I mean, it doesn't really apply to me. Sure. But, I mean, it's shitty because Star Wars Battlefront... Looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Like aesthetically, Ooh. the game is fucking beautiful, and like the sound design is great. Um, the mechanics of the gameplay are fun. It just sucks that it cost. Like they thought it was gonna become this money making machine, mm -hmm. and they made it like that was the way they built it. They like, built it to be a money making machine before it even had a chance to prove whether it was going to be something or not, and because of it being built on a corrupt idea, it was inherently and always corrupt. Yes. It sucked. Yeah, that is... That's pretty sad. It's pretty sad when you take 
something that I mean, you, you got to admit, Star Wars, you slap Star Wars on anything, it's going to make some kind of money. Right. It's pretty sad when you take something like Star Wars, something that, like I just said, is going to make money just because of its name, and you just abuse it, harass it, not harass it, abuse it, to try to make more money than... What the hell? You can either go in the pool or you can slap the fucking thing right thing there. of dick. You can do it. I don't know what I'm doing. You can do it. <laughs> I sure can. Just give it a jump and then give, put a curve on your jump. Okay, this, is, this ain't gonna do anything for you. Oh, 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 and one of the other guys was gonna use that space for something else. Right. And I told the guy, I was like, if you move, the guy who needs that space is gonna cut your finger off and stick it in your butt and glue it shut. So you gave him an ICP reference. I sure did. And then I came back and I told him that I was gonna laugh when he bends him, ties, bends him over, ties him up to a pole, stretches his back, and flings, flings him up his butthole. You sure do. You sure are obsessed with buttholes. <laughs> this really got me thinking. Like, oh Jesus Christ! I sure, I sure have listened to Shaggy Two Dope and Violent J talk a lot about buttholes in my life. It's true. It really is. I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta live your life. Sometimes uh, living your life means you got all the, got all the buttholes going. On. <laughs> yeah, talk about them buttholes. I mean, you know, you gotta. I'm not. Yeah, this is not a. <laughs> who's, who's gonna judge you? <laughs> the only person judging you is, is yourself at this point. Well, and, and my coworker. Yeah, but I mean, who does who, what does his opinion matter? What is, what does his opinion matter? In the face of of all the buttholes in the world that you could face, <laughs> what's one voice? Yeah, that's true. Oh wow. Oh, oh look at it. Still not in the. How wall. about whoever takes this board? Yeah. Wins the game. Sure. You're gonna put if I take the board, how are you gonna put my face on something? I'll 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 figure it out. Figure it out. I'll figure it I'll out. Figure it out. I'll figure it out. Well, this is gonna be an extended episode, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Oh, bah. extend my fucking dick! Oh wow! You, right. you really, you really, you really jumped over that pool. Just wanted to make sure I had this star. Okay. Let's see what happens. See who, uh, let's see who takes this. Yeah, it's not the way I wanted to go. We'll try. We'll try going this way. I'm gonna hit that thing mid fucking air, aren't I? I'm not if you time it right. All right. You didn't time it right. I didn't time it right. That's fine. Still oh, not. Oh boy. Still not in the water. Well, yeah. True. I'll give you that one. Thank you. Also give you this turn. All right, I think I'm gonna come back and be passed out, so I'm gonna give you this turn. You know what? Are you I appreciate your candor. You're welcome. There you go. There's some health for you. This game. This game. It's a good game. Is it? It is a good game. I like this game. Yeah. It's nice and relaxed. Kirby games are generally pretty fun. It's Look at that. Plooch. That's totally fine. I can live with it. It's it's competitive without being stressful. That's true. That's what I like. We, we, we're we missing a lot of that in today's uh, society. This game, in a lot of ways, is a comment. Social commentary. All right. <laughs> this game, in no way, is a social commentary. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being an ass at this point. Uh, I don't need a lot of Raz Blasma Taz on there. Ooh. 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 Oh, I got, look at that, I got me a star. You sure did. Got me a star. All right. If I fuck this up. Yep. You basically won. Well, I'm pretty good at fucking shit up myself, so. <clears throat> and, oh. right. 
it in. I tried. I did everything I could to prevent you from winning. Did you hear me trying to suck in? Yeah, the I heard. Air? You, I heard you. I heard you sucking the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes. Hey, I tell you what. We'll see you next time on Dash Mode Gaming, eh? Absolutely. See you then. See you then.